Hello dear students, this is teacher A and today we will tackle on identifying genres of materials viewed. Please be ready with your module, your notebook where you will write your answers, and of course, ball pen. So, is everyone here? I hope you're all here and settled. But before we begin, let us say this prayer. Dear God, bless us in our study today. Help us grow in love and kindness more like Jesus every day. Amen. So, alright, in this lesson you are expected to... Define genre, identify genres of materials viewed, and give examples of the different genres of materials that you have viewed. Are you ready? Let's go! Who of you here loves to watch movies? I'm sure you all do. But the question is, what type of movie do you usually watch? Adventure? Fantasy, comedy, horror, drama, love. Why am I talking about this? Because how you categorize movies refers to genre. To know more, let's have a series of activities. On page 7, letter A of your module, you can see 8 genres and 10 titles of popular Pinoy movies. And television series. Since you didn't have any idea yet what the genres are, just guess, guess, by identifying what genre is portrayed in each movie title. Write the number of your answer in your notebook. I'll give you two minutes to do that. And your time starts. Finished? Let's move to the next activity on page A. This time, you can see series of pictures. They are actually the cover photos of different movies. By looking at the characters' faces and the titles of movie, identify which of those movie pictures are under action and adventure, comedy, fantasy, horror, 
history, drama, science fiction, or documentary. You have five minutes to do that. And your time.
brain. The next activity will deepen your understanding on the different genres of materials viewed. Please turn your modules to page 9. Ready with it? Okay. In this activity, we have short reading selections. If the following reading selections were scenes from movies, what genres are they? Read the selections carefully, understand the message, and identify the genre. Again, write your answers in your notebook. You have 20 minutes to do it. And your time starts. See, so at least now you have the slightest idea on what we're talking about in this lesson. As what I have told you a while ago, how you categorize movies refers to genre. You can find the whole information on page 11 to 13 in your module. But still, we're going to talk about those things. So in simple terms, genre categorizes movies which makes it easier for the viewer to discover what he or she likes and will want to see. In addition, genre consists of four elements or parts. We have character, story, plot, setting. To easily remember the elements of genre, we will have this equation. Story or the action plus plot plus character plus setting equals genre. Now, what are the different genres of materials viewed? So we have actually eight. There are many actually, but we will just focus on the basic, the most common ones. Number one, comedy genre. Comedy genre is the most popular general and most complicated genre. According to Merriam Webster Dictionary, comedy is simply as a play, a movie, a television, a program, a novel that is meant to make people laugh. For example, the Trancabayo. Number two, Adventure genre. It is an action movie that overlaps with the spy genre with danger, risks, and excitement. The Merriam Webster defines adventure as an undertaking usually involving danger and unknown risks, that is, exciting or remarkable experiences. Example for that is Dora. Number three, Science fiction genre. It is linked to the previous genres of crime, westerns, war, spy, and adventure with a basic theme. Maria Webster defines science fiction as fiction dealing principally with the impact of actual or imagined science on society or individuals. Example for that Star Wars or Predators. Number four, fantasy genre. This has no limit. Maria Webster defines fantasy as something that is produced by the imagination. Example, Maleficent. Five, horror genre. My favorite. It brings fear, and fear generally brings thrills and suspense. So Maria Webster defines horror as the quality of something that causes feelings of fear, dread, and shock. Example, zombie apocalypse, train to Busan. Number six, drama genre. Merriam Webster defines drama as a play, a movie, television show that is about a certain subject, 
and is not meant to make the audience laugh, but to tell a story usually involving conflicts of emotions through action and dialogue. Kadenang ginto is an example. So there are four elements of the drama genre. Number one, it has to be serious. Number two, it portrays life. Number three, it tells a story. And number four, the characters have to have an inner conflict that brings out emotions. Number seven, mystery genre. It always leaves the viewer guessing. Not only guessing, not only guessing who did it, but what will happen next. So have you seen a movie just like the film where you are just going to guess what will happen, what will happen next? Oh, the remaining of those movies. And finally, we'll come to number eight. Documentary. It is a separate movie entity that is unto itself. According to dictionary.com, Documentary refers to movies and television features based on recreating an actual event, era, life story, and others that purports to be factually accurate and contains no fictional elements. So, meaning everything is true. One is Ashinda Luisita. Ashinda? So, that's it. As we recap, genre categorizes movies. And the eight genres of materials that we usually view are 1. Comedy 2. Adventure 3. Science Fiction 4. Fantasy 5. Horror 6. Drama 7. Mystery and 8. Documentary Now Please turn your modules to page 14 for a more challenging activity. Inside the box are movie title options. There are 10 of them. Can you see them? Below the box are pictures of movies with their respective senses. So, what are you going to do? Write your answer in your notebook. You have 15 minutes to do it. Your timer start. Oh, are you still with me? Energize yourselves. Come on, let's do stretching for a while. Stand up. Stand up, stretch to the left, stretch to the right, and shake, 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 and okay, that's enough. Let's now move on to your post assessment. I am sure with your age, you've already seen varied movies, especially these past few months where you just stayed in your houses to be safe from COVID. Now, I want you to complete the table on page 20. Page 
list down at least three Filipino films. Three Filipino films under each genre. You have 10 minutes to do it and your timer starts now. We have two last activities and we're done. For your additional activity on page 20, choose the genre referred in the question and try to answer in your notebook. You have three minutes to do it. Start now. Time is up. Now let's move on to answering the crossword puzzle on page 21. Now that this is enjoyable. Read the clues in the box below the puzzle. If the clues are written under a cross, that means to say that you need to put your answer across the puzzle. Of course, following the given number. The same with what happened to the clues written under down. So, we have 10 minutes to do that. Your timer starts. So that's it for today, my dear students. Did you learn something? Smile if you do. Wow, I can imagine your smiles. Before we end, let's say this prayer again. Dear God, thank you in our study today. Help us grow in love and kindness more like Jesus every day. Amen. That's all for now. See you again in the next module. This is Peter A.